girl what is good welcome back to the channel with yours truly of course Machiavelli. hope you all are having a great day today and today we're back with another episode of what another um speed build jeez um so today i'm gonna be doing another like an urban style house this time and it's gonna be a side house with oh my guys this house is very important to me because i'm actually making this for an lp um i kind of give it away so left with pearson's of course this is um gonna be lacy and marcello's new house uh i love it i absolutely adore it i can't wait for them to play in it this is gonna be the zach lot the zach house i don't know i just i just wanted to add some umph to it definitely wish this house was mine honestly this house is glorious i love this house it's so pretty i don't know it's just it's just so nice um and of course it'll be on the gallery when i furnish the house i will be furnishing the house so don't worry about that um all my builds when you guys don't see it on the gallery it's mainly because one i'm not done it yet uh, and two um i'm not done it yet <laughs> that's pretty much the main reason why it's not up on the gallery yet but um it will be when I'm done it. So um, hopefully you guys do wait a little bit. I hope you guys enjoy it. I had so much fun doing this house. Like honestly, I really did. Um, like I said before, I love L-shaped type of houses. And I made the last one and I had to make it again. And this one, I knew for a fact when I was making it that I wanted. Um, because at that time, in my Left with the Pearson LP, which I'm pretty sure half of you guys want, uh, have you guys watching this don't even know what I'm talking about. Um, but when I do play the LP, it's the LP that's the one LP I have on my channel. But anyways, when um, I said to myself or I said to you guys that they will be moving and I wanted to build them a house i didn't want to be like a normal type of house i wanted this house to be like definitely them and so i made it and i love the way it came out it looks like a castle in a mansion i can't believe they can afford it but they actually can this house only costs twenty six thousand bucks what it's only twenty six thousand. honestly it looks so good and it's so cheap honestly um a it could be a starter house that that's how cheap it is it is it's just that cheap it's great um and I will be finishing, a lot of you guys have asked me, am I going to be finishing off the starter house? Yes, I am going to be finishing it off. Um, I'll be finishing off this one too. These so those two are like both like mainly um, urban, like this one's an urban starter house type of thing. And the other one's mainly just a starter house in general. Um, mostly, I don't know guys, I can't really talk too much about this build because it's, it's, it's so self-explanatory. I love the way it came out. It's, it makes me so happy just to think about it. This, this build is dream worthy i love this both so 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 much um but uh i thought see the thing is i want i love adding that little point of the house to where you have to look and with this one i thought it was gonna be the garage like the l-shaped one where it's just straight into the garage and everything else is the same but this one i wanted to be like a big front entrance so i made that whole brick thing right there just to make it that huge entrance and then make it like a glorified entrance and then I added like high up ceilings I don't know I like the way it came out um but definitely be a whoa type of house <laughs> if you ever been to one in like real life so yeah I'm super excited for it um I tried to say I tried to make, make it an urban feel to it so I added a lot of I actually didn't design the inside yet so you have to wait for that um but I, when I do the, do the inside, I hopefully I want to go with more of like a cool, maybe bright seam. I, I have not thought of what I want to do with it yet, but we'll have to wait and see. Um, see, over there, I was thinking of that being just like a little place for them, like the glim like a little place for just like windows and all that. But I said, you know what, let's, let's make that the front entrance of this house because that way it'll just show off. I don't know, just, it'll just look, look better <laughs> in my opinion. And I wanted to add in a little fireplace, so I did so. Uh, I have no clue what I'm doing there, but yeah, I'm just adding a little fireplace. Um, simple, simple. Normally, I would do it at the front of the house so you could actually see it, but I did it in the back because that's where the living room is going to be. Living room and dining room spread. And actually, what I love about this house is actually very much open concept, which you'll see at the end. Um, the inside, like interior, when I did it, I wanted it to be like very open concept. I wanted it to be dining room, or it could be kitchen, dining room, living room. So you don't have to walk to like a separate room. Um, I'll definitely be challenging myself to do like, sorry guys, the bus is going by my house. Um, but I'm definitely going to be challenging myself to do like one of those old contemporary type of houses where everything's sectioned off. Where like there's a dining room and then there's a living room, but everything like has their own walls to it. I think that'd be cool. But I, me and myself and I, I love open, co open concept houses. I love being able to be in the kitchen and still being able to see whatever's going on in the living room and all that because when you're entertaining and when people are over you don't want to be like by yourself in the kitchen it just kind of sucks so I kind of like that open concept feel but um definitely I'll be adding that thing because even though I do love open concept I do kind of like having that little seclusion or having that little separation between the walls but we'll have to wait and see of what I do with that but yeah I think that's pretty much it for me talking about the build it's pretty self-explanatory over here as as we go on I don't know guys I just love this I just I just love the way this house came out it makes me super duper happy I was gonna do a back 
like porch but then there's like i just realized there's so much space back there so i'm like nah this this, this backyard is already as small as it can be i'm not making it even smaller i have no clue i did here oh yeah i was i was um at this moment i was listening to an audiobook while i was doing this which is a terrible i always end up listening to audiobooks while i do the whole builds because it keeps me occupied and keeps my mind thinking and my mind going. I don't have to focus on what I'm actually doing, which is not a good thing because like 50% of the time I'm not really focusing on making. I'm just like building and if it comes out good, it comes out good, honestly. I don't really like, okay, that looks good, that looks good. No, sometimes I just really like, okay, put that there, put that there, then if it looks good, it's not, I'll make it look good. <laughs> That's my main like, you see, I'm listening to the audiobook right now, I just stop what I was doing. I'm like, wait, what's going on? Because in the audiobook at this point, um, some juicy stuff happened and so I was like, no way. And then, yeah. But getting back to the build, um, I'm doing the front porch, not the front porch, but the driveway. You see, um, the driveway is bigger than, like, is, like, the size of the backyard, which is kind of crazy, but that's what you get for having an L-shaped house, but I I'm okay with it. Um, I had, like, a basketball court out here, and then we'll add some, like, more stuff, you know, because why not? I, like, I just really like the way this house came out. It just came out so nice <laughs> it just it's just my type of house it's it's simple it's not too big it's not too much big of a maintenance job with the like the, the garden and everything but it just it just looks right it just looks homey i like it but anyways you guys of course can leave your opinions down below what you guys think of this house and again if you guys want this house it would be on the gallery but anyways guys i have to get going because i got some schoolwork to do but i want to come in here real quick and say hi how y'all doing also to all my canadian viewers like me if you're canadian happy thanksgiving yes Eat your turkey, eat your ham. I'm literally at home by myself right now. As you can hear, kids, can you guys hear like the difference? Um, but yeah, I'm at home right now by myself. Um, my mom did have some food and she cooked it for me so it's in the fridge, so I'll be eating that tonight. But I hope you all have a great Thanksgiving. I know people in the US or anywhere around the world, I don't think it's Thanksgiving for them, but it's for us Canadian people. So yeah, enjoy the day off of school and have have a good Thanksgiving. And I just want to, and I think that's pretty much it. So anyways, guys, I hope you all hope you all have a Gucci day. I am out. Enjoy the rest of the build and I'll catch you guys on the flip side as always. Y'all know it. Gucci, I'm out. Oh, peace. I just love the way this house turned out. It is so pretty. Don't you guys think? Nice house. Really nice house.